Hey friends, ChatGPT changed everything when it came out exactly one year ago. ChatGPT, AI software was so strong that people couldn't believe it. OpenAI, which made it, and its CEO, Sam Altman, are leaders of the AI change. But strange things have been happening at the company lately. Employees became angry when the chairman of the board, Sam Altman, was fired. There were many threats to resign. The CEO of OpenAI moved three times in four days. The mysterious AI Q-Star caused the most trouble by changing OpenAI's CEO three times. You heard that right. A few days before Sam Altman was fired, researchers at the company wrote to the board. The letter told them to be careful. A strong AI capable of causing harm had been created, as revealed in the letter. This AI could not only solve hard math and science problems, but it could also see what would happen in the future. The company refers to the AI as Q-Star. Let's talk about this puzzle. The AI will be able to control people and scientifically predict the future by spying on them all at once. In any given case, it might be able to tell you what will happen in the next day or week, but not in 10 or 15 years. This is AGI, which stands for Artificial General Intelligence. AI tools like ChatGPT and MidJourney that use generative AI to learn languages are not very good. They learn how to perform their tasks. A strong AI like AGI could do many things better than humans, but there aren't any strong AIs yet. OpenAI turned into a non-profit in 2015. Its only goal was to create AGI for everyone. Tech giants Elon Musk and Sam Altman started this company. Ten people started the company. Greg Brockman, president of OpenAI, and Ilya Sutskeva, a top scientist, were also there. Don't forget these names. They're important to the story. All of OpenAI's co-founders gave it $1 billion. For the fourth year in a row, CEO Sam Altman took over in 2019. The board fired Sam on November 17th, 2023. I've named three of the six people on the OpenAI board, Sam, Ilya, Greg, and three leaders who work on their own. Adam, CEO of Quora, Tasha McCauley, a tech entrepreneur, and Helen Toner. The majority makes most choices, so Sam wouldn't fire himself. There are only five directors left. The board fired Greg and Sam simultaneously. It's likely that Greg didn't vote against Sam. Ilya, Adam, Tasha and Helen told Sam that they were firing him in a Google Meet call. The board pointed out that Sam had trouble communicating and said that he might be hiding something. This action shocked the tech community. The sudden firing of a strong and important CEO by four board members left the tech world shocked. What were the reasons that no one knew? The fact that OpenAI started as a non-profit is significant and crucial, as we have already mentioned. Because all of Silicon Valley's well-known businesses are for-profit. Apple, Google, Facebook, and Meta all make money by selling goods and services. OpenAI's main goal was to make an AGI that could help people. This non-profit way of doing things couldn't last. As CEO, Sam Altman set up OpenAI Global LLC, a for-profit branch that got its first money from Microsoft in 2019 of $1 billion. After four years, the subsidiary got $13 billion in capital because it was well known. Microsoft owns 49% of OpenAI's for-profit arm. It's important to keep in mind that OpenAI, the non-profit main company, would still be in charge of a for-profit division. Some people who work at OpenAI said that experts wrote to the board before Sam's removal. This letter makes them worry about QSTAR's work on AI, which could lead to AGI. They were worried about what QSTAR could do. Business experts and workers are the only ones who know what QSTAR can do. QLearn, on the other hand, is an idea for reinforcement learning AI. Reinforcement learning trains AI. AI becomes more aware of its surroundings and makes better decisions when it gets feedback from people. 
The name Q star comes from the alphabet Q. QSA is the name of this function. S stands for the state and A for the action. Q star stands for the best possible move. Let's look at chess. Picture your chess piece in state S, which is a board square. You should now make move A in chess. Its Q value function would be able to guess all possible outcomes, each move and what could happen if you make it. The function carefully looks at your situation and tells you what the best move is. ChatGPT is now very good at writing and translating languages because it can guess what the next word will be. But this AI would be better at solving all questions if it had Q-value learning. Q-star critics were worried about where OpenAI was going. Their worry was that the mix between good and bad things for people might not be right. The board of directors fired Sam due to disagreements over ideas, but they didn't give him a specific reason why. The group that wants to make money supports marketing. Threats are what the non-profit group is most worried about. Which way of thinking is right? The first business version of ChattyGPT, ChatGPT Plus, was released in February 2023. On March 1st, other companies were able to add ChatGPT to their own systems thanks to an API. OpenAI released GPT-4 on March 14th. Employees saw a shift toward hyper-commercialization in the last few months, which caused the two groups to split. Once ChatGPT was out there, it was easy to see that it was making money. The study lab in Utopia had to be discontinued in order to prioritize helping people. They had to help people. OpenAI's strong picture maker, Dal E3, was added to paid ChatGPT in October 2023. The company held its first developer meeting on November 6th. Sam announces the GPTs or custom ChatGPT models at this meeting in a way that is similar to how Apple or Google do it. It transitions from one ChatGPT to multiple customizable GPT models. As marketing grew, Sam and President Greg were in favor of it, but Chief Scientist Elia and others were not. By August or September, OpenAI had split into two groups. They did different kinds of work. Ilya talked about AI safety measures for the company, while Sam talked about GPT-5 and future launches. When the board heard about the complaint about the powerful Q-Star, they thought about taking out the for-profit part. On November 17th, the board swiftly hired Mira Marathi as acting CEO after firing Sam. By November 19th, most of the workers at the company were on Sam's side. As the owner of 49% of the for-profit business, Microsoft didn't want it to fail. Microsoft put a lot of pressure on the board to make Sam CEO again. Emmett Shear, who used to be CEO of Twitch, took over as CEO of OpenAI on November 20th. The next day, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said that Sam and Greg would be in charge of a new advanced AI study team, which made Microsoft's shares reach a new high. People were interested in how Emmett Shear, OpenAI's new CEO, would act. Despite the doubt, 743 of the company's 770 workers wrote a letter threatening to quit unless they brought back Sam and Greg. Over 90% of workers said they were going to quit. Mira Marathi, the acting CEO, first signed the letter. Then a lot of staff members tweeted, OpenAI is nothing without its people. If the CEO is fired and 90% of the staff leaves, the company becomes worthless. Elia also tweeted and signed the letter. Elia understood that following safety rules was important for the business to stay alive. So, co-founders Sam, Elia and Greg get together. On November 21st, 2023, Sam came back as CEO of OpenAI. They hired two new board members. The first thing the new board has to do is choose nine people to serve on it. The company is safe, but will OpenAI become a business or a non-profit organization? Give your feedback in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching.